Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not already an ACC subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my update for the That's So 2000s project pan. So this is a Pantastic Clearless Club Facebook group project and it was created by Samar. And this is a prompt based project all about the 2000s. So you work on five prompts each update and it is a rolling style project I can't remember exactly how many prompts it has, apologies, but it does have quite a few. I'll make sure on the screen to put how many prompts there are. So this update, I can roll out all five of the prompts I've been working on, which is really exciting. So I've decided, because this project does finish in April, I'm gonna roll in all the rest of the prompts this update, and then I have a few months to work on them. I did say potentially it was gonna be this update or next update, I would roll them all in, but because I finished all of the prompts that I have been working on over the last month, I thought it would be the best time to bring them all in. So I'm gonna first talk about the prompts I've been working on and the products I associate with that. And then at the end, I'll roll in all the rest of the prompts. So I think I've covered everything. If I forgot anything, I'll make sure to leave it below in the description box. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first prompt I can roll out is Bump It, and that is Ads Volume. And for that, I brought in the Philip Kingsley Maximizer Root Boosting Spray. So I have been working on this for a while, <laughs> but I finally finished it this update. It won't be something I would get again. I didn't really see that it did anything spectacular. So I only used it if ever two more times and I completely finished it. And overall in this project, I used this product 29 times. So I'm happy to be rolling that out. The next prompt I can roll out is Frappuccino, and that is something sweet. If you're wondering why I'm looking down here, by the way, it's because I have my tablet here with all of the products and my numbers. So I bought in the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette, and I just wanted to use this one five times, and I needed to use it a further three times this update which I did, and this is what it looks like. It's really reflective, so there's no easy way for me to show you this, but this is what it looks like. However, I am a bit disappointed in myself because I didn't do a blue look at all in the five uses I had with this. I mainly focused on the shimmers, if I'm honest, but I haven't done a blue look. So I'm hoping when I pull this out again, that will definitely be doing a blue look. It is a really pretty palette, but some of the shimmers for me in this just aren't and great like this one here yummy i just wasn't wowed by it but for example like this one and this one beautiful so i managed to get my further three uses and now i can roll this out so the next prompt i was working on was ipod shuffle and that was a whole collection roulette so i randomly generated a number and i got my Pat McGrath palette. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. And I actually got the blush, which is this one here. And that one is Divine Rose. And I wanted to use this one five times. I hadn't even used it before I brought it in. Um, and I managed to get my five uses. It wasn't difficult because it's such a beautiful blush. I do really like the formula of these blushes. I only rolled this in last update as well. I think the rest of them that are in, that I'm gonna be talking about now, I only rolled in last update. But yeah, I got my five uses on this and I absolutely love it. The next one I was working on was Low Rise Pants, your least flattering product. So for that, I brought in my Steve Laron lip gloss in Posh. The reason I brought this one in is just because usually this shade, or I think at least that this shade doesn't really suit me, but this was a really nice lip, color not obsessed with the formula of these but they're not awful they're not like really really sticky i think i much prefer the fenty ones but it is one i will use and i was pleasantly surprised by this i like i said i usually think that these don't suit me so i wanted to use this one five times and i got my five uses on that and then the last one i was working on was bratz dolls something that exaggerates your features so for that i brought in my barry m lip liner in runway and my goal was to use this 10 times and I managed to get my 10 uses on this. This is a really, really nice lip liner. It went with a lot of colors that I was panning and I just, I don't think I'm quite ready to start panning another lip liner. I was panning one all last year and I only finished it in January. So 
I don't think I'm quite ready to focus on this, but I would like to try and introduce it, I think, into some other projects as well, just to try and get some use. So when I'm ready to fully pan it, I don't have a full lip liner to finish. So that is all of the ones I was working on in the last month. So now I'm gonna roll in all the rest of the prompts. I think I only have 10. I will find out. <laughs> So I've got wheel of names because that was what I was using to randomly generate the prompts because that was that's how I've done this project. Oh no, I only have nine. I've got nine left. So the first one is flare jeans. Add flare to your look. I was, oh, I used to always wear flare jeans and they're even coming back now as well. Um, I don't have a pair now, but <laughs> I always, always used to wear flare jeans and they was always too long for me as well. So if it was ever like wet outside, the bottom the bottom of my jeans were always wet. <laughs> so for that, I'm actually gonna be bringing in this Lottie London Powerful Metallic Eyeshadow. This is absolutely beautiful. I just, I have tried this. I even swatched it recently just to make sure it was all right. And it is so soft. I'm really looking forward to putting this on my eye. I'm only gonna set, I think, a five use girl on this because I am trying to focus on eyeshadow palettes at the moment and working through some of my older ones to see if I want to keep them or get rid of them. So I don't know whether I'll have this one rolled out by next update, but I do wanna just set a five use girl on this. The next one is Jonas Brothers and that is a trio. I was never really a massive Jonas Brothers fan, to be honest. I like their new music, but I was, yeah, I was never really a massive fan of them. <laughs> um, so for that, I'm gonna be bringing in this MAC trio this is the mac pretty things face compact in fair i think this was the christmas collection one year so this is what it looks like and i want to use this one 10 times any of them i'm i'm not like saying use this one like two times blah, 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 blah. i'm just gonna say use this whole thing 10 times so um i do really like this though this is a really 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 nice face palette so I'd like to get some more use on it if I can so I'm gonna set a 10 use girl on that one next one is chunky jewelry something chunky slash bulky and it can be bulky packaging chunks of glitter etc so I'm gonna be bringing in a highlight that I had in a project all last year and it is the I Heart Revolution princess cut triple baked highlighter so it looks like this I have definitely made some really really good progress over the last year in this area here but this is gonna take me forever to finish if I even ever do finish it so I just want to set a 10 use goal on this one as well just to get some more use on it because I do really like the highlighting it is getting to be one of the older ones in my collection as well so the next one is my space top eight use your favorite beauty product eight times I loved my space loved it I loved customizing my profile as well and like going in the back and changing the html and embedding the music onto my profile and just i loved all of it <laughs> it was just it's so weird if you think about myspace because you're used to rank your friends on your top list <laughs> on like your profile to say this is number one two three blah 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 what a weird thing like that would never be something you but we would do now but um and people always used to have tom i want to say tom was that the person that created myspace People used to sometimes keep him in their top eight as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, just really, really good times. I, I loved my space. I'm actually gonna be bringing in an eyeshadow palette. I did say I'm gonna try and not bring in eyeshadow palettes into projects, but I'm gonna bring in this Stila palette. This is the Eyes of the Window Soul palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in my collection and it's Use Your Favorite Beauty Product eight times. And this is one of the older ones in my collection as well, so I can put it in this project, try it, and then not have to retry it again maybe in a few months because I know that it's okay. I have a feeling that this will be fine and will be staying in my collection. I think the only time I will ever get rid of it is if it goes off. It's just, it's a really, really neutral palette, but it just is so beautiful. I'm most probably gonna be wearing this for my 30th birthday just because I know it looks really, really nice. So, 
I'm obviously going to be using this one eight times as the prompt says and I'm just going to use this whole palette eight times any of the shades um but I love it I just I love it I know some people might think it's boring but it's like my go-to neutral palette the next one I have is my lip gloss is popping any lip gloss and I used this prompt as an opportunity to try a new lip gloss in my collection I haven't tried yet that has definitely been highly rated and spoke about quite a lot on YouTube and that is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline and I've got it in shade 6 Reef. I haven't tried this yet, I bought this late last year and I still haven't tried it so I just want to use this one. I'm not panning a gloss at the moment. I think I'll set a 10 use girl on this one because I have a feeling I'm going to like it. The colour is exactly up my street obviously because I bought it <laughs> but yeah I'm I'm looking forward to trying that so I'm going to set a 10 use girl on that one. I then have VHS a product you have to wind up so for that I'm going to be bringing in the Milk Makeup blush stick in work 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 I, I did I actually did that as well in my uh, makeup collection videos every time I see the name of this I just I have to sing that Rihanna song <laughs> You'll have to apologise the awful singing, but I can't help it. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know what I think to it. I'm not going to roll it up because I know these have problems sometimes of actually the product rolling back down. Um, but this is the colour of it. I'm not usually a massive fan of blushes like this in this packaging. But I will give it a go. It looks like a really, really nice colour. But like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I just want to use this one five times. I don't want to... I don't think I'm going to have the chance to use it more than that. So I don't want to set myself up for failure. So I'm just going to set a five use goal on that. Next one is Mean Girls Something Pink. So for that, I'm going to bring in the W7 It's Glow Prime Primer. So I think with this one... I was just going to set a 10 use goal on it. But I think I can use it a bit more. I'm going to set a 15 use girl on this one. I'm trying not to set too many high goals because if I can roll this project out earlier before April that would be great for my schedule. <laughs> um, but yeah I'm going to set a 15 use girl on this. I am using a another like glowy primer at the moment that isn't in a project but I'm so close to having it finished so I'm going to set a 15 use girl on this and I can use this one day, use that one another day as well. So that is for Mean Girl, something pink. I then have Velour Tracksuit Something Soft and I don't seem to have a product for that so give me one second and I will be back. Okay so I just realised, <laughs> I just finished this video and realised that my microphone was all the way over there so you most probably didn't hear a word I've just said about the last few products. <laughs> so I think I was at Velour Tracksuit Something Soft and for that I'm going to be bringing in the Tarte timeless smoothing primer so this product is quite a soft texture and I want to bring this in because I want to try it a bit more because this is potentially one that I am going to I am thinking about getting rid of because I just don't love it so I'm going to set a five use goal on this and I feel like after five uses I will know whether I want to keep this in my collection or pass it on to somebody else if I do pass it on to someone else, I'm, I'll most probably ask my sister if she wants to try this because Tarte is an expensive brand um, and it's not old. So I don't need to throw it away. I can pass it on to somebody else. So I'm going to set a five use goal on that one and see whether it stays in my collection or not. And then the last one, I think, I'm hoping I didn't miss too much out <laughs> um is converse an everyday item i haven't had a pair of converse for years now and i really miss having a pair i had a pair and i used them so much that the bottom of the sole had just completely like it had it had holes in it and everything because i used them so much and my first ever pair that I got on my first ever job I bought myself a pair of converse because I just love them and they were a pair of white converse so I'm definitely going to be buying a new pair of white converse this year because I really really do miss them and I also think I'm going to buy myself a, a pair of black fans as well because 
I love those too. But anyway, <laughs> an everyday item. So for that, I'm going to bring in this Glow on Fifth Beauty Lip Dew Tinted Lip Balm. So I use this every morning when I do my morning skincare. And it's like a pinky tint. But it's not super pink because I'm I found I don't really like a really hot pink on my like for lip balm it's just a nice subtle pink and this is really moisturizing I've been using this for months I want to say early last year I started to use this and I still have so much of this left because you really don't need a lot of it so my goal for this is just to use it until everything else in this project has been completed and then I'm quite happy to just say that this prompt has been completed as well. So that is my update. I have a feeling there are going to still be a few things that are going to be in for the finale. If I can get them done earlier I will so then I can just finish this project earlier but I don't think I will. I think I'll have a few things in for the finale in April just because I'm working on so much at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed it. I think I covered everything that I covered earlier. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.